Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are back with the retrograde season videos. And I'm checking bigpanchang.com now. Saturn is going to be retrograde in the sign of Capricorn. This is Vedic sidereal astrology. This is a Munich, Germany time. 23rd May 2021. It will start its retrogression on Sunday 11.20 a.m. And the retrogression will end on 11th of October 2021, Monday 4.18 a.m. So the total duration of Saturn retrograde is 141 days. Wow, interesting. And during this retrogression, Saturn will be transiting entirely in the sign of Capricorn. And also within that, it will not be uh, changing the nakshatra. It will be in uh, Shravan nakshatra. And uh, the retrogression will start and it will end in the first pada. And from first pada of Shravan nakshatra, the progressive uh, motion of Saturn will be starting. All right. So it's a bright Saturday morning here. And I thought, uh, why not make a video on Saturn today, the retrogression. So there are almost uh, two months for this retrogression. Today is 27th March and April and May. So I thought this uh, many times people uh, see the retrogression videos only like two, three days back, uh, pre previous uh, to, prior to the starting of the retrogression or when the planet becomes stationary. Okay. Uh, but then uh, what can you do in two days, right? So therefore, I am making this video early so that you can prepare yourself, uh, not because some disaster is going to happen, not because of that. But in general, whatever is in your dashas, that will happen. Uh, but uh, the retrogression periods of especially Jupiter and Saturn, they are very important. And especially this becomes even more important um, because uh, if, if you have, for example, in your birth chart, currently you are running uh, Saturn's Mahadasha or Antaradasha, then this retrogression is very crucial for you. And also if you're running the Dasha of any planet, which is being uh, aspected by Saturn or which is conjunct Saturn, then also this can hold some importance. Or if uh, nonetheless, Saturn is the Lord of your uh, Lagna, so a Capricorn Lagna or a Aquarius Lagna. Or if the uh, Lord of your Moon sign is Saturn, then also these uh, this transit is very important. And for the rest of the people, also it is Saturn ultimately, so it's important for everybody. Okay. So what happens during retrogression? You know, we know we know what happens, right? We start doing something which uh, we think is not perfect enough. So. Uh, in during retrogression, many times people uh, get confused that are retrograde planets good or they are bad? Well, of course, you have to see in connection with the chart. A retrograde planet can be a very good uh, planet or it can be a very challenging planet. Uh, also, it depends on what do you call a challenging planet. For some people, if they are very much motivated and geared towards life, if you tell them that, sir, you will face some challenges, but you will overcome them next year. And they'll be like, okay, yes, no problem. I love challenges some to some extent. But suppose I tell one person, oh, sir, you'll face some challenges. And that person will be like, oh my God, sir, what will happen? You know, will I live or will I die? Something like this. So it depends on how you take a challenging planet also. So if you take it positively, um, if you think that you are getting opportunities to become better, to level your uh, grade, then yes, um, if this planet is challenging for you, then this can be a very good uh, time for you to progress in these 140 days. But if you are lazy and you think that uh, challenges uh, are not something that you like and that you wish uh, for, then maybe uh, if Saturn is not good in your chart, then this transit can be a difficult transit for you. Okay. So now when this, we'll discuss Shavar Nakshatra, but let's discuss a bit of retrogression here. So... There's a big difference when Saturn goes retrograde and Jupiter goes retrograde because both are different planets, you see. So their retrogression has different flavors, which means the retrogression, see, you know what's Mercury retrograde, right? Mercury retrograde means some device will go, go bad, some friend will connect or um, you will sign some document and then you will regret later. 
or somebody comes and cheats you and gives you some misinformation okay these these are the things which uh, happens when mercury is retrograde what happens when jupiter is retrograde jupiter represents your ideals and your wisdom and your ability to grasp knowledge uh, not information knowledge and wisdom and plan for the future so when jupiter goes retrograde you start thinking on your plans you start thinking will this plan work or will this plan not work okay so just because it's any planet getting retrograde it doesn't mean that you will start doing things again always it depends on who that planet is the natural significations of that planet is very important the karakatwas as they say now we have saturn's retrogression what is saturn retrograde saturn is the karaka for actions he rules the 10th sign of capricorn where capricorn is the sign of uh, authority and the judge actually okay so what is capricorn capricorn is the place where you are being judged i don't mean in a judgmental way <laughs> the word judging and judgmental has a very negative connotation these days in kali yuga especially in 21st century if i say oh according to me i judge you you are like this then they think you are a terrible person what do i mean when i say you are being judged there you are being judged by god because of your karmas okay so therefore capricorn is the sign where you can get a lot of rewards and capricorn is the sign where you can be punished also okay so if you see uh, capricorn if you go to the second house from capricorn which is the 11th house of gains and networking and association and name fame so when you perform your karmas properly then you get name fame people want to associate with you uh, not superficial social media fame these days but in general people are genuinely wanting to connect to you and uh, they feel that their lives will improve uh, but if you're not doing your karmas then the 12th house gets activated which is the 12th house from capricorn yes it's sagittarius sagittarius is the law where you are punished okay so the judge is capricorn the judge says okay now you go the um, prison you will stay uh, where you will stay in a place where you will be punished okay so therefore when saturn goes retrograde this is a very uh, crucial time for us to redo some of our karmas which we had performed in the past these are like physical physically manifestable uh, realities okay like some actions which uh, can manifest or had manifested in the past or might manifest in the future okay so it has to do with your actions your karma so if you think you had done something wrong to somebody in the past then this is a good time doesn't matter that person is your friend or mother father husband wife brother sister anybody <laughs> and please go and uh, ask forgiveness and then try to see if you can redo some of the actions okay now one of the big biggest challenges when a planet goes retrograde is uh, aspiring for uh, perfection because a retrograde planet um, has this trait that you uh, try to do it thrice okay retrograde is three times so uh you you might have this feeling that i i did something once i have to do it again then again and another time okay so this can be good but this can also be bad if you have low self esteem and you are like uh trying to uh, trying to perfect beyond that which is your capacity you are just trying to perfect it just because it has to be perfected so perfection for the sake of perfection is not worth it okay do do as per your level so now which houses uh, does saturn rule in your chart depending on your ascendant so depending on that it will be decided which areas you have to redo which areas uh, the karmas related to which areas do you have to uh, uh, aspire for perfection okay or which areas you might be obsessed to make it perfect just to look perfect okay so therefore uh, it's crucial that you understand what your situation is your status your reality your condition the size of your shoe of your leg i mean then you know okay which uh, shoe i should uh, wear not that you see oh this number 10 is good so i'll put it <laughs> or what if you all uh, that's big for you so never do that okay so we now now know that this is not only in capricorn but this is also in shravan nakshatra and shravan nakshatra 
is linked to uh, the pastime of uh, Vaman Avatar and uh, Bali Maharaj. So, therefore, uh, this pastime is there in the eighth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. Please go and read it. Okay, uh, pastimes of Lord Vaman Dev and Bali Maharaj. Uh, very beautiful. So now, what happens is uh, in this story, as we all know, Bali Maharaj he thought that he will become Indra. Okay by doing 100 Ashwamedha Yagyas, 100 uh, big sacrifices. And he does 99 Yagyas. And uh, the last Yagya he's about to complete. And the Yagya is almost completed, not complete. <laughs> and then the, there's this ritual that any Brahmin who comes, you have to give uh, some donation. And then when the donation is given, the Yagya is completed. And Lord Vishnu takes the form of... Uh, small boy uh, in the form of Vaman Dev and he comes and asks for three steps of land and then we know the rest is history uh, he measures the entire uh, universe up to Satyaloka okay and then Bali Maharaj is left with nothing he is imprisoned he's uh, in chains uh, and then and then um, he loses everything apparently and then Bali Maharaj uh, surrenders. He says, put your third feet uh, over my uh, head. Okay. Now third foot over my head and some uh, Bhagavatam uh, says this and some uh, epics give a different version. But anyways, either way, the end story is that Bali Maharaj had surrendered. Okay. And then Vamandev was very happy. So Vamandev granted him three benedictions as the Bhagavatam says that, you know, first is in the next Manvantara cycle of the Manus, you will be the next Indra uh, within this day of Brahma itself. And one day of Brahma has 14 Manus. So this current Manu uh, is running. And then in the next cycle, you will be the Indra, you will be the king of the heavens and you will rule for uh, 71 Divya Yugas. That's the lifespan of one Indra and one Manu. And also you will be um, I. you will currently now, until this Manvantar is going on, you will go to Sutala, which is an underwater heavenly planet. It's one of the lower planetary systems, which is even more opulent than uh, Indra's Amravati, the Swarga Loka. And number three is, I myself, I will be your doorkeeper and I will protect you uh, from uh, any inauspiciousness that comes. Okay. And it is said many demons had also come to attack Bali Maharaj and take his throne, but they all failed. Okay. Because Vamande was always protecting him. So therefore, now, uh, during this during this uh, transit, it is highly crucial that you maintain good relationships uh, with those who are protecting you or uh, those who are guiding you. You should not uh, go and wage a war against them. All right, and it could happen that you want something, but you lose it and you get something better. This always happens when Shravan Nakshatra is activated by different Nakshatra Dashas and different systems. Uh, no, you will always see that you want something desperately, like Bali Maharaj wanted to become the next Indra very desperately, but he could not. But then uh, you lose something and you are a bit humiliated. Okay, And then you, uh, your ego, uh, ego is crashed, your ego is completely nullified, and then you uh, settle with something else, which is lower than what you expected. But in the long run, you benefit much more than what you thought you would have benefited. So therefore, if Saturn is your seventh lord, then it could happen that uh, you might have to make some kind of a compromise with your business partners or uh, some agreement you will reach with your spouse. And then you may think, oh, uh, no, I'm downgrading myself. I'm losing out on this negotiation. But depending on your dashas, you may feel that, oh, later on, when you look back in your life, Yes, I was the one who gained. Okay, just like uh, Bali Maharaj, he gained uh, Sutala, and then in the next month, he is set to become the next Indra. Okay, so therefore, now uh, it's crucial that you maintain good relationships with your mentors, and if somebody is there uh, who is like your bodyguard, uh, not physically, but who is like emotionally protecting you, maybe your uh, spouse, who he or she is giving you emotional comfort. Uh, validation and uh, financial security or uh, that could be any person your parents or your children if you are old okay 
so try to maintain good relationship with them who are protecting you physically mentally socially emotionally spiritually okay psychophysically <laughs> okay because everybody in this world is being protected by somebody okay nobody is independent in this world there is only one person who is independent who is that yes shrimad bhagavatam first canto first chapter first shloka says janma adyasya yatahan vayad itaratas charthesu bhigya swarat lord vishnu he is the only one who is independent he is fully independent swarat he is the only one who doesn't need anybody but in this material world we always need somebody you may not need somebody financially you will always need somebody uh, emotionally right you may not, you may not you may need friends you may need family you may need a spouse you may need children all right you may need a community you always need somebody right so do not give into this uh, fake idea of uh, stupid nonsensical independence which is getting rampant in kali yuga which does no good anyways okay so therefore uh, do your karmas properly redo the ones which you have uh, which you think is uh, not good according to you and which you think after reading these scriptures and after uh, discussing with your guides with your gurus and counselors you think yes uh, i went a bit too far in this i should have not done that so this retrogression is a very good time to uh, to repent for your mistakes and also it is a good time for you to think what will you be doing ahead in this upcoming year okay because you know the vedic new year is going to start uh, when sun enters aries okay so therefore i mean you will you might have started uh, getting the feelings from now itself you know because now these energies are quite heavy in pisces i would say but anyways so whatever it is ultimately check your dashas and as i said if your dasha planets are linked with saturn then this transit is very important for you okay so that will be all from my side if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it down below and if you want a consultation from me regarding your marriage career health relationships or spirituality you can find my website down in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him